Hi, Brendan here. Today I'm going to talk about some of the differences that I've noticed as a trainer over the past 10 years in the people that fully transform their bodies, losing 10, 20, 30, even up to 60 kilos, and the people that really, even though they, they, they say they want it, they, they tend to fall short or, or something stops them along the way. So over time, even though each person's journey is totally individual, there is a few little patterns there that tend to be a little bit consistent within all of the clients that, that make it to where they want to be. And when I'm talking about transformation, the, the, the number that you're trying to lose doesn't matter. It's more of a case of where you are now to where you want to get to and, and then getting what you perceived you would get when you get there, that, that sort of energy and happiness and, and, and having the whole work. So not just the, the body composition, it's more about your life and how you live it. So a few points that I'm going to go through today is point number one is they work hard. So good work ethic. They get in, they do their workouts if they need to do extra cardio sessions, they do their extra cardio sessions, they prepare their meals, they eat all their meals on time, and they do everything that they need to do. They do all the small things and they just get in and they realize that it's not gonna be easy and they're just, they're 100% committed to their goals, so they're just gonna do it anyway. Okay, so that's another thing in line with the work ethic. What they do is they give it the time and energy that it deserves. So a lot of the time, this weight come up on over 20 years and you may be able to lose it in a year so I think that's a pretty good deal to lose it in that period of time so you have to give it time and energy and focus so it's not about I'm just going to do a couple of little half hour sessions here a week and then I'm not going to think about it at all it really requires a lot of time focus and energy especially at the start when you're really trying to increase and change those behaviors another thing that I tend to notice is that when it gets tough or challenging or something happens, the people that really want that transformation just keep going. They don't let things set them back. Sometimes it may slow them down a little bit, but they keep moving forward, they keep sticking to their goals, they keep sticking to their actions. So they keep pushing through that regardless. So there are gonna be times where maybe you get a little injury or maybe you get sick or a family member gets sick or things become challenging at work, So, but you have to just keep moving and keep getting through that. Okay, another thing that we notice with all of them is that by the, maybe not straight away, but pretty quickly into their journey, they start to enjoy exercise in the healthy lifestyle. There's only so long that you can keep up something that you don't like, and then that's more likely when something comes up that's a bit of a challenge that you will stop. So a lot of the times you hear people say, I don't like exercise. It's actually not natural not to move, so it, it, it's, it, it, we have to do it. We have to move, our body wants to burn energy. So if we don't like exercise, a couple of things is that we maybe just haven't pushed through the hard part in that first little bit and that stopped us and we haven't seen the better side of it or we haven't tried enough things. So if you don't like the gym or, or you've tried the gym and don't like it, maybe play a sport. If you don't want to play a sport, get outside and go for a walk or a run or even a swim something active or you could do hiking or anything like that, dance classes, try every variation possible and, and find something that you do fit better with, but there's really no excuse not to move. So that's it guys, the, the differences between the people who do have it and do get what they want and, and the people that don't. All right, have a great day.